Hi right, guys, welcome to video number 133. This video is on 3D shapes and is the first video on uh, in the geometry angles and measures section. And I'm wearing sunglasses because it's actually sunny in England and has been for a few days, which is uh, a beautiful thing. Now, the keywords here in this video are 3D faces, edges and vertices, terms you definitely need to understand. 3D stands for three dimensional, all right? The world that we live in, everything around us is in 3D, okay? Um, faces they're the flat bits of the shapes edges they're the straight lines of the shapes uh that join the the corners together and the vertices well they are the corners of each shape okay 3d objects so they uh there are eight 3d objects you need to learn the names of and a little bit about uh they are triangular based pyramid which could be referred to as a regular tetrahedron uh, cuboid, cylinder, cone, triangular prism, sphere, square-based pyramid, and cube. Um, you'll need to know what the number of faces, edges, and vertices is for each one. Okay, and that's basically it. Then you'll be able to use that understanding to answer much more complicated problems later on down the line. Uh, but this is the basic stuff that we need to know for this video. So match the shapes to the names in question number one. Um, so this shape here, you may well already know, it is a circular based prism or a cir circular prism, if you like. Um, but it has got a special name. It's a cylinder, that one. So I'm just going to match that one to that one there. OK, and then the next one, the triangular based pyramid um, is this one here or the regular tetrahedron. The cuboid is the red one. OK, and the cone is the yellow one. All right, just know what those look like and be able to match them up. It's a relatively simple thing. Now, number two, match the shapes to their names. There were eight. There was only four in the first question, so here's the next four. Um, this first one here, you could refer to that as a cuboid, all right? We don't know for certain that all the lengths are the same, right? But the option that we've got here is cube. So this one is a cube, okay? And the special thing about a cube is it does have all the same length sides. Um, a uh, triangular prism is the one at the end here okay it's a triangular face now a prism is a shape that has the same cross section that goes all the way through it so it's basically the same shape on the front as it is on the back of the shape or the same shape on the bottom as it is on the top depends which way round the shape is um, a sphere is the ball shape one all right so that's a 3d circle as people would refer to it not really that but it is what you'd think of it as and then a square based pyramid would be this pyramid here okay um if i just draw a little um sort of thing in there you'll get an understanding of how that is a square base maybe not that's an awful sketch i'm not going to do that actually that just looks terrible All right just know that that's a square based um um pyramid there you go. So that's that's kind of how it would look there, All right? With the four uh, faces and a square on the bottom. Okay, so five faces in total. So that's your square-based pyramid, that one. And it was the only other one left anyway, wasn't it? Right. So uh, let's have a look at the third and final question. Here, we've got to fill in the missing number num numbers. Fill in the missing numbers in the table. And, and we've got some that have been filled in. Now, I've put this one already in there. Vertices for cone is zero. Some people would argue it's got one vertices um, at the top here. Um, I don't know what to think. I've, I've looked into it. Some people say zero, some people say one. All right, so at the moment it's zero. But if you can argue why it's one, then put that in the comments section by all means. Um, edges, well, there is no straight edges that join the... Um, uh, what sits together all right so it's got no edges all right and the face that a cone has got if you look at the picture of the cone that i'm just highlighting here that's got one face all right we don't refer to this curved surface area as a face all right it's just the face on the bottom so it's got one face right now a triangular prism you can have a look at the triangular prism that's up here you've got how many vertices has it got so that's the the corners all right one two three four five six all right it's got six vertices right and the edges it's got so the straight lines that join it up one two three uh four five six seven eight nine so it's got nine edges and you can see it's got five faces already one two three four five all right you have to imagine walking around that shape and counting the 
uh, faces. Try and make it small in your mind, otherwise walking around it would take ages. Anyway, the cylinder um, is over here, covered over by me. So you're going to have to imagine what that looks like. Um, and it's it's got a one face, two face. Uh, so we can fill in the faces. It's got two circles there, isn't it? And the vertices, it's definitely got zero. Right? There are no uh, points on that or corners. Um, the cuboid is again underneath here. So a cuboid, you could always look at the cube to, to do this. So the vertices is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices. Um, that's the corners. The edges, um, how many edges join it up? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, which we've got already. And then the faces, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then the cube's going to be exactly the same as a cuboid. All right, uh, a cube is effectively a cuboid, but it's got a special property in the fact that all the lengths are the same, like I mentioned earlier. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices, 12 edges, and six faces. Okay, um, I hope all of that helps. Um, might have to use a little bit of logic. If you were given a, a sphere there, everything would be zero, wouldn't it, in the table? Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much everything covered to this point. Um, so hope you like, subscribe and check out the rest of the videos. Thank you so much for watching this one. Take care. Bye bye.